A very good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you so very much for joining the Live Signatures Radio. Welcome to another episode today. It's a daily show. This show is about purpose, productivity, and resilience. And today we are going to continue talking about what we started talking about very many days back, maybe a month ago. We started talking about work, the subject of work, and it's taken totally different angles and at different times. And what we're doing right now, we're talking about psychological needs, the human psychological needs and how they are related to work or how work helps us to solve or to meet, that's the word, to meet our six human psychological needs. We have six human psychological needs and I've already talked about four of them. So there are two that are left and uh, yesterday I told you that work directly or at least indirectly helps us to meet five of these human psychological needs today let us look at another psychological need stay tuned Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So, ladies and gentlemen, there are six human psychological needs. If you do not know them, I'm going to give you a recap and I'm not going to finish them, but I'm going to give you a recap and then today we're going to add one more. We talked about certainty. We need to be certain. We have this psychological need of certainty. And I have uh, caught myself saying that if you look at the genders, two genders, the males and the females, the females are the ones who really, really, really want certainty. And they really make decisions because of that particular certainty. And men, of course, we go to work looking for that particular certainty. And women, they will want to be in a relationship with you because you have that certainty or you can provide that certainty or they can see the potential for you providing that particular certainty. And if they know for sure that you cannot provide that certainty, believe me, even if you are six-packed and all that stuff, you ain't going to see nothing. They're gone. They're looking for certainty. The second need, psychological need that Tony Robbins talked about is uncertainty. And uh, first of all, uh, work, we said work provides that idea of certainty. But then uncertainty also is provided for in our work because the challenges that come in it, come with it and so on, the growth and so on that comes in, into our work and so on and so forth, they are provided for. And the third thing that we shared about uh, our psychological need is significance. And you know that work results in us feeling significant. We don't feel significant because we're born royalty. We don't feel significant because we have been born again as a Christian. You don't feel significant because you've just worshipped God. You feel significant because you've contributed. And that's another need, by the way. You feel significant because you've done something through your work. That's where your significance comes from. That's why it's easy to meet someone who is totally born again and all that stuff, everything is going, they've been in the presence of God, but they still feel something is missing because God created us to work. It's controversial. That's up to you to prove me wrong. The, the other thing we talked about was yesterday, we talked about love and connection. And this is where we say that at least work doesn't directly contribute to love and connection for all of us humans but for some people they find to love their work more than they love other human beings and that's a little bit weird but i'm not gonna go there however work indirectly contributes to love and affection 
it contributes to that feeling of love and affection in that it empowers the person who is working because you're now excited some other the, the, there's some things that have been provided for you certainty is provided for you and certainty is provided for your significance is provided for now your love and affection is e even fueled because you have all those things and then some you have some kind of money that you're going to spend in that love and in that connection okay but if you don't have work it's going to be difficult for you to have this love and connection with your loved one it's going to suffer i mean it's just obvious it goes without saying but today let's look for let's look at another psychological need the other human psychological need guess what it is it is growth and development we want inherently inherently we want to grow we want to develop inherently all of us human beings we want to grow and we want to develop it's a psychological need it's not something we can put off it's a human need and guess what you know for sure you know for sure that some of the significant growth seasons you've gone through were in your work of course of course there is another thing that offers growth and development which is uh, uh, crisis trouble adversity right setbacks they have a way of making you to grow like never before like you've never grown ever in your life they have a way of shaping and chiseling you out but there is a positive way of course even let me not go there there is there is growth and development through our work through our work and in fact by the way we 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 will always grow um anyway if you find yourself with work that doesn't give you an opportunity to grow to be a better person than when you entered through the door when you go through the door in that particular workplace whether it's your workplace or it is someone else who has employed you and you look back one month down the line you've not grown i'm talking one month you haven't grown there's something wrong either with you or there's something wrong with your place of work but work ultimately is one of the biggest contributors to this psychological need of growth and development there is no human being who is tired of expansion there's no human being who is tired of growing and becoming better and developing and increasing in capacity in one way or another and once again work does cater directly 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 for this need of growth and development it it is through our work that we increase in guess what our brains in our skills in our networkings in our connections in in our exposure some of us we are told to go to sit in meetings and i, I remember when i was doing some consultancy with a big telecom company i'd been i'd been brought up in an organization where they will shy away taking juniors to meet ceos and i just I, I, I said I, I ain't gonna do that because the juniors, the so-called juniors, these are the people on the ground. These are the people who are making us, they have first-hand experience daily on the product that we are championing. So whenever I had an opportunity to go to meet the CEO of this big multi-billion multinational, I will go, guess what, with the food soldiers, selected food soldiers, and we will go for a meeting. Therefore, if the CEO asks something, they have a direct answer, directly hot from the oven of the field. And these guys, in the presence of a CEO, they're never going to be the same again. You get my point? They grow. We've got to offer, as leaders at the place of work, we've got to keep offering opportunities. Stop looking down on the so-called juniors these are the people who need to grow give them open doors for them as much as you can because that's by the way that's how you grow even as a leader the more you grow other people the more they are able to work and get some a lot of work out of your plate so that you can be able to grow into another level and into another realm work directly contributes to this need 
It is through our work that new ideas are given to us. Have you ever realized that ideas, for the most part, they coalesce on someone who is in motion, someone who is moving, than someone who is doing nothing. Of course, ideas are ubiquitous. Even when you're doing nothing, sometimes they do come. But the person who is working, the person who is actively involved in something, that is the person who grows. That is the person whom ideas love to coalesce. It's like a, they are a magnet for ideas. And the more they execute the ideas, the more they grow. And the more they grow, the more the ideas keep coming. So growth and development is directly and strongly catered for through our work. It is those who are busy at work that are fulfilled. It is those who are busy at work that are filled with ideas to do something new, something better, something different. So growth and development as a, as, a psycholo- as a human psychological need is one of those things that is directly catered for through our work. So I'm going to ask you a question. Are you growing? Or rather, are you working? Tomorrow, we seal the deal when we talk about the last human psychological need. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.